Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my shop. Welcome to my channel. My name is Keith and I'm your host. Before we get started, class, how about the Pledge of Allegiance? All right, today we're starting another oddball project. We have a pair of 500 gallon aluminum fuel tanks. They're about 25 years old. They come out of a uh, 50 foot um, Young Brothers that uh, were in the process of helping um, restore, rebuild. And we've already taken this one here and cut open the top, cleaned it out. We have a couple things that we're gonna do. We're gonna remove a couple of these pieces that are still on here and trim it, but we need to wash it up and clean it up and give it a good inspection. The plan is, is to remove the top, which is really bad. Inspect and make sound the other five sides to the, the fuel tank and then put a new top on and insert our returns and our pickup lines. They actually have, a, uh, their pickups originally were a, a, an inch and a half port off the bottom and, and there's a ball valve down here. We'll take a look at that in a minute when I remove it. Um, and if you need an inch and a half ball valve to feed your, <laughs> your engine, you're probably gonna need something more like a 5,000 gallon tank instead of a 500 gallon tank. Um, uh, some things are just overkill. Now, there's a little bit of dirt area right in here, so I don't know, um, I don't know how that amount of dirt got up on top of the tank there, but um, I didn't see the whole thing sitting in there and didn't see it being picked up, and I don't know if there was something set on the tank afterwards, but um, this top is pretty rotten. In fact, I could probably put my chip and hammer right through there and that's original thickness was three sixteenths of an inch thick it's pretty sound on the side we've already got that one we're looking at it it's got some good material there's a lot of material on this tank and if the majority of it is good and all we need to do is replace the top we can save some bucks on repairing instead of replacing these tanks all right I'm gonna start cutting the top off of this one here we got it on the press or the, we got it on our lift here so that I can bring it up to a comfortable height with my saw so I'm not bending over um, I'm finding that this thing actually lets me put a lot of things in in position and uh, so let's go ahead and get started on it Okay, we're going to open it up pretty much with our skill saw there. Real nice can opener. Okay, and we'll pull this out. We got, we got tiny here. Just like on that far tank over there, you can see that it's actually got a, a baffle system in here. And we can see the welds on the top here. One, two, three, and four. This one lines up with that. I think uh, on that side there, one, one was broken and we broke the other one so we could get the skill saw in there nice. We come down the edge, we kind of cut across here. Uh, we'll, we'll dress that out with the saber saw. But we can get most of this ripped up here pretty quick. Oh, one last thing, I'll go get a couple of earplugs. Um, hollow tanks really tend to make a lot of noise.
We like just a little Luma tap on our blade. Keeps it from galling up. Okay, we're gonna bust this off and kind of clean up this dirt right here so it's not flying all over the place. I get a big scraper. I'm not sure that's connected all the way through. That one doesn't show any signs of it. So I'm gonna cut around that one there. i leave that one there for right now because I can come along here and zip this side of the tank here. All right, we'll get a dustpan.
Okay, now we just go around the top. Okay. Okay, we got a little bit more uh, fuel to take out of this thing. Couple, a cup or so. That's all that's in here. All right, we move. We cut up the top in two pieces and put it out with the scrap metal. We're looking down in the tank now, and you can see that there's a certain amount of sludge in here. Okay, really kind of soft fuel sludge. 
most of it. I mean, you can see the aluminum chips from me cutting into it, but most of that's just fuel sludge over 25 years worth, I guess. All right, now you think that's a lot of fuel in there. That's hardly any fuel. You see underneath there? It's all, it's just a little thin layer on water. So there's probably a half a cup or less in there. And we're gonna scrape down the bottom and we'll pick everything up and put it in a pail and get it ready to where it's washable with detergent and pressure washer. That's what we're gonna be doing next. Okay, we got two products we purchased to really try our best to get this aluminum tanks as clean as possible. Purple Power we want to use as a degreaser and clean the inside of the tank and any any oil, fuel, residue, we should be able to strip it off with the power uh, Purple Power. We ordered the ZEP heavy duty alkaline cleaner because we want to really get in there and bust loose any of the corrosion on the outside of the uh, aluminum and lift it to clean metal so that we can see all the areas that have been eaten up and need attention to before we actually start adding new metal to the tanks okay so those are the two things we're going to set up first with the purple power and we're going to do the degreasing first we're going to pour some in our bucket here because we're going to use the brush and we're going to brush it on full strength All right, and we're going to put a little bit in our pressure washer here. We're just really going to be applying it generously. Loosening up pretty good. We can actually look down in there and start to see some crappy welds. <laughs> or at least welds that appear to be crappy. Uh, evidently they weren't leaking. So crappy looking welds. How's that? Okay, we'll come over here and hit this one. We're gonna need some more purple stuff. This kind of gives you an idea how it's, it's cutting it. takes a couple seconds starts really breaking it up A couple of all different stain layers in there, that's for sure. And here's what I was talking about on the welds. This one.
one doesn't look bad. The other one over there is like doubled up on that wall. I think it's in the other bay over here. There's a pretty good weld right there, like two or three welds on top of each other. Okay, I'm gonna let that soak for a minute. We're gonna tip them up and then I'm gonna pressure, high pressure wash them. And I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try different nozzles here because I wanna experience them anyway. So, all right, that's our soap one. This is our 40% spread right here. I think these are going to come out really, really clean. Okay, we've got these things standing up. We're ready to go. Um, flip this on. There we go. I'm just trying another uh, nozzle here. Okay, this is the pencil spray right here.
Okay, this Zep Heavy Duty Alkaline Cleaner. We're gonna brush it on here straight. And I think it's a little more serious than the Purple Power. So we're gonna, we're gonna put on some gloves here. Now some of this has got rubber and probably some kind of sticky glue and things like that. The stuff said, "Be careful putting it on aluminum." <laughs> well, that, that's because they it etches aluminum, and that's what I'm really hoping for is that it etches into that corroded area that's right around the top lip that we're going to be trimming back and modifying. Okay, there's the first coat on that tank. Let's put its coat on this one. Yeah, you can see it's starting to loosen up some of the stuff on here. I'm bubbling over here on some of the areas. It is, it's stripping it down. It's looking pretty good here. Okay, we brushed on a few, few times and we just wanted to see if we can loosen up this like sticky stuff that's on here. And then this is an area where rubber strips were going underneath you. Another quick little brush here and uh, I think we're going to give our first pressure wash to this 
outside surface. I think we're gonna we're gonna give them another coat and let them soak a little bit more because man, we just have a little bit of areas like right in here. I don't know. Let's see if that'll scrape off with the putty knife. Okay, these. Strips going across here where the tank was resting on a rubber, they said a rubber strap or whatever. But a little bit of rusting or rust mark looks like anyway. A little wire brush really loosens that right up. Stainless steel wire brush is what you want to use. Something was rusting up above, ran down the side of the tank and then hit those areas. Got some of the ZEP material here, or ZEP fluid on the brush here, and we just did, did the other two ports um, over there, and now we're going to hit these these two here on the top, and then re-hit the one bottom one down there because it's hard to do this up over here. Um, but this is really stripping all the rest of what was in here totally off and bringing the welds even cleaner than they were. See how that just makes it all disappear. Some of that's almost going to be clean enough to eat off of. <laughs> I know, you first, right? <laughs> All right, we're just going to scrub these up here and then we're going to pressure off the last of them and we're going to bring them inside the shop. Well, I tell you what, that is pretty spick and span. And we can see a few areas in there that we need to concentrate on. And we got to see how some of their welds look.
but overall we degreased those and they are ready for inspection and pinpoint all the bad spots and decipher whether it's going to be feasible to reuse these bottoms or not. All right, until today, I didn't know either one of these two products here. And I wasn't uh, promoted by anybody for these two products. I searched them out myself. I watched a few videos online and I've seen some good results with mag cleaners and stuff like that. But basically, it's alkaline cleaner that uh, gets down and strips it off. Purple Power does cut the grease and it did take a lot of the oxidized off as well. But it was basically cleaning the oil film, the fuel film uh, off of the tank there. But the last minute, that ZEP 45 or I use ZEP 45 all the time. The ZEP heavy duty alkaline cleaner stripped the rest of the diesel stain off that the, the purple power didn't, didn't take off. They're bright. The walls are clean. Um, there's some shoddy looking walls in this thing, but I'm only concerned with the seams. And then we're gonna gauge what we have as far as the weak point. And then we're going to dress the top off and we're going to get ready to go. But this video was just on opening up and cleaning tanks, prepping for hot work. All right, until next time, get her done. <laughs>